Hello everyone, today we're going to be making guacamole, but without any avocado. Now this recipe is from another YouTuber called Alejandro de Nava. In her video, she explains that this recipe is usually used by taqueros or taquerias, or people that make tacos. And they usually use this recipe because it's more economical, it saves them money, you know, avocados sometimes are pretty expensive. So that's why they use the squash instead. So for this recipe, you'll be using a squash, two garlic cloves, half a teaspoon of salt, one jalapeno pepper, two tablespoons of oil, five to six tomatillos or 150 grams, and a handful of cilantro. Now that you have all your ingredients together, you're gonna need a small pot, fill it up with water, and let that water come to a boil. Add your tomatillos and your squash and let them boil for around 10 to 15 minutes. If your tomatillos are done before then or they're tender before then, then take them out. In another small pan, you're gonna add your two tablespoons of oil. You're gonna bring that up to medium heat and add your jalapenos. You're gonna flip your jalapeno on both sides until you get it completely fried. It should look something like this. At this point, you can take it out. Remember, don't throw your oil away because we're going to use it at the end. Now that we have all our ingredients boiled and fried, we're going to add them to the blender. We're also going to add the oil where you fried the jalapeno. Once you have all your ingredients in the blender, you're going to blend them until they're completely smooth. Once it's done, it should look something like this. Now you're just going to enjoy it and put it on whatever you want. Um, you could also put it away in the fridge. I think it'll last a couple days. Um, it's not going to turn black like guacamole because it doesn't have any avocado in it. And um, right now, I'm probably going to put it on some tacos because that's what I have. Those are my keto tacos that I made. And I did like it. I do think it does taste like guacamole. It's more like a guacamole salsa than like obviously like a chunky kind. But it was still really good. And I think that you guys would like it as well. Let me know in the comments if you guys have tried it or if you guys are going to try it. I would want to know what you guys think about it. So there you go guys, guacamole without any avocados. If you enjoyed this video and liked it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.